Nalakin Karajin Nunga Uja. What's up, everyone? Welcome to vlog number four. In this week, I speak to you about the social innovation and network we as a society have to have in order to help our environment. Let's get going. So basically, you'd really have to be living under a rock in order to be unaware of all the environmental problems that we are facing today, such as air, ocean pollution, animal extinction, climate change, and so on and so forth. And in my vlog last week, I also talked about the solutions on how we can tackle these problems. Since we cannot restrict humans from their actions, we need help from the government. So the new environmentally friendly laws need to be made, which will force the citizens to obey them and therefore heal the environment. But we cannot just send this message to the government individually. Instead, we'd have to form a large network of people in order for our voice to be heard better. Now, there's plenty of organizations out there doing something for the environment while you and I speak. However, there's only three of them whose work I'd really like to point out. First up, we have, oh, we actually don't have time. So basically what these guys are saying is that we have to do something about global warming right now. So these guys support things like shutting down coal plants, cycling instead of driving, reducing water waste and things like that. But they have also made an app available which you can download and press an agree button. The agree button means that you agree with another particular environmental campaign. So the more times you click on the button agree, the more pressure will be generated on the bigger companies and the government to make sustainable changes. And we all know how important pressure is, right? Pressure makes diamonds. Next up is Think, Eat, Save. This campaign is mostly about reducing food waste and therefore world hunger. Because wasted food means wasted water, energy and land used to produce that food. On the top of that, we've only increased our greenhouse gas emissions. This campaign supports better food harvesting processes and shutdown of large restaurants. They organize food drives so that they can distribute the oversupplied food to the locals who are in most need. However, if the food is inedible for humans, it is then used for feeding livestock. And if the food is unfit for livestock as well, then they try to recycle it in a responsible manner. And last but not least, we have Surface Against Sewage, aka SAS. Yep, you've guessed it. These guys just love the oceans. The SAS has organized around 1500 beach cleans since last year. Pretty impressive, hey? They also have an education program which informs the public on how water quality can be improved and marine environment protected. They also try and cooperate with the government in order to make a more sustainable policy. Hmm, this sounds familiar. Isn't that what I said should be done in my vlog last week? So how come I haven't heard of these guys? Well, listen carefully what I'm about to tell you now. And I mean no disrespect to any of the organizations I've just mentioned. I mean, the effort is there. There are some people who are truly willing to help the environment. But the way in which we send a message to an ordinary citizen who has no interest whatsoever in this type of field has to change. Luckily, we have social networks today. So these organizations may also create their Instagram or Facebook pages. And I'm not sure if um, a lot of you are aware of this fact, but once you get past 10,000 followers on Instagram, you get paid for every next post that you make. This money can then be allocated into paid sponsorships for uh, public figures or perhaps some bigger firms, which can then increase the promotion of your brand. This can then lead to press conferences, exhibitions, advertisements, maybe one of those YouTube ads that interrupts you while you're watching a cool video. Hey, you can't skip this, so I'm gonna skip for you. However, if we do not make a lot of money from Instagram along with donations, we can just create more jobs. That way, we'll not have more volunteers, but at least we'll have paid volunteers, which will definitely expand our community. 
And in order to accelerate our growth, we should always encourage the pairing of major organizations, because at the end of the day, we all have the same goal, because together as one, we can save the environment. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. I am very sad to inform you that this will be the last vlog that I'm doing for this semester. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will provide a link where you can download the app. We don't have time. So if you haven't, uh, if you're not already a part of the movement, what are you waiting for? Destroy that agree button. Love you guys. Stay safe. Ciao. And I, I will always love you.